Hey guys, welcome to episode number 39. This is another Fan Friday, and it comes to you from Pwned Fishies, who asks um, if I can do a feeding video. And since I've got um, fish and crayfish and turtles, um, this one might be a little long, but what I want to do is I want to both feed all of my aquariums and also talk about the types of food um, that I'm feeding. So uh, I'll just start up here. I've just got the, the cap full of uh, flake food. Um, I've got these little breeding, uh, these little fry chambers to make sure that all of the... Uh, the fry get um, finely crushed flake food, and then I just uh, I drop I drop the rest of the food in for the uh, the other fish. Um, but I tend to overfeed this tank uh, just because of the number of fish that are in it, and I make up for that by doing a lot of water changes. Um, so we've got swordtails, we've got mollies, we've got tetras in here. And um, I feed, the fry need to be fed anywhere from three to five times a day. And the adults, uh, I mean most, most people feed their fish like once a day. I like to feed mine at least twice a day, if not three times a day. Uh, and I try to feed them a, a, a smaller amount. Um, just so they can consume everything that I drop in. But like I said, I, I do tend to overfeed this tank just because of the, the, the number of fish in it. Um, isn't always recommended, but as long as you stay on top of your water changes, it's okay. Uh, so I'll walk over here and I'll explain some of the foods that I use. So the food that I just fed is um, Ken's Premium Angel Flake. The camera's probably not going to focus very well here. Uh, but what it is, is it's a half pound bag. Um, Ken's Fish is the, the name of the company. Uh, he's from Massachusetts. If you haven't heard of him, go check him out. He's got a lot of great uh, homemade fish food. Um, and it's, it's actually quite a bit cheaper than buying it uh, at the fish store because um, you get it in half pound bags. Um, and you get it at a much better rate. So uh, the angel fish flake is is what I use for uh, most of my fish, but uh, actually the mollies like um, a lot of plant content, and uh, actually the angel fish don't mind it either. So this is Ken's premium spirulina flake, and that's got a lot higher uh, plant content to it. Um, you might be familiar with uh, spirulina wafers. They are uh, what a lot of people feed to um, bottom feeders, to placos, um, and essentially, you know, th this is, it's, it's fish food, but it's got a lot of the spirulina in it. Um, so it's, it's really good for, for mollies who, uh, who definitely like their plant content. So I've got both of those. Um, I do feed these to my crayfish uh, because they also like um plants and uh this is this is just like the commercially available algae discs it's the same thing it's the spirulina wafers uh this bag probably cost twice as much as um the ken's ken's spirulina bag and it's it's got probably twice as much in it uh so definitely check out ken's fish um here I've got uh, premium go golden pearls, and uh, for anyone who's hatched baby brine shrimp to feed to fish, um, and if you haven't heard of golden pearls, give these a try. Uh, they're a lot easier. It's it's basically um, a floating food. It's it's got a tiny air pocket in it, and they're very 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 tiny. Uh, you can get them in different sizes. This is 100 to 200 microns, and uh, what you do is you can just uh, throw this in the top of your your fry tank, uh, and it acts as if it was live baby brine shrimp. Um, it doesn't sink to the bottom, and it allows the fish to to eat it, um, and it allows you to skip. Uh, the hatching process of the uh, the baby brine shrimp, so that's that's definitely a time saver, um, and my fry tend to enjoy it. Um, this is another option for fry. It's just decapsulated brine shrimp, 
Uh, nothing special, nothing fancy about that. Um, again, this is a lot less work. Um, it gives you all of the, the benefits of the brine shrimp because it is the brine shrimp. It's just uh, the the egg, it's, it's the brine shrimp in the egg, but, but without the egg. The egg has been stripped away, so it's decapsulated. Uh, but it does it does sink, so it, it can make a mess uh, if your fish aren't eating it. Uh, next up is uh, just straight up brine shrimp eggs. Um, you can hatch these in a two liter plastic bottle, or um, I've also got this um, hatch and feed. Uh, I've I've only used it once or twice. Uh, it does work. It's just kind of a little little bit of a hassle because it's it's such a small amount of water that it it does get gummed up kind of easily. But uh, it's it's an interesting concept because you can sit it set it inside of a freshwater tank and uh, it allows you to hatch your brine shrimp in the hatching chamber. And then when they're hatched, they swim up and they exit uh, through this uh, these holes right here into your freshwater tank. Um, and the salt water in, in the chamber doesn't mix with the fresh water of your aquarium. So that's, that's kind of an in interesting design. You hook up a, a little air pump to it uh, and it just, it just suctions to the side of your tank. So that's, that's interesting. Um, I do have this turkey baster and uh, flavor injector and uh, you can use those if, if you are um, hatching your brine shrimp. Um, from a two liter bottle, uh, you can, you can shine a light on your bottle and, uh, you just suck all the, the brine shrimp up and, and you, um, avoid the, uh, the unhatched eggs at the top and the bottom. So that's, uh, the majority of what I feed to my fish. Um, I do have this pure spirulina powder and, uh, that would be used to feed, um, brine shrimp if you're if you're intending to grow out your brine shrimp pure spirulina powder is what you would feed them to keep them alive and uh, this stuff's pretty cheap it comes in quarter pound bags uh, and it's it's very very fine powdery dust and uh, you can mix that in with your water you can mix that into your your brine shrimp culture and uh, they'll feed off that some people use green water but this is this is a lot easier than than uh, culturing green water in a separate aquarium so moving on to my turtles um, the primary food that I feed my turtles is um, the Missouri pellets um, I found them to be uh, a complete um, staple uh, food source for uh, my turtles um, I've got all diamondback terrapins and they are pretty much carnivores so they don't tend to eat plant matter um, they will eat um, some duckweed on occasion I've tried giving them romaine lettuce and stuff and they, they don't really seem interested um, but they they do love their uh, Missouri pellets uh, when they were small I did use uh, Zumed uh, aquatic turtle food the, the hatchling formula and they, they tended to like that as well um, so I've got the, uh, the Missouri pellets in, uh, in here to keep them fresh. Um, but it comes with a little, uh, a little, uh, dish here. Um, so the general rule with turtles is, uh, if they're under four inches in length, uh, you need to feed them, um, at least once a day, maybe twice a day, depending on how much they're eating. And you feed them an amount um, that's equal to um, the size of their head if it was hollow. Um, and anything that's remaining after 15 minutes, you need to scoop out of the aquarium because they're done eating. And uh, it's just going to foul up the water. So he's trying to get that one in the corner there. He's doing a pretty good job. Um, they do need to eat underwater, so he's trying to get back in the water with his pellet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these guys are kept in warmer water. Um, I've got two 50 watt heaters going on them and uh, it keeps them nice and warm even though it's it's kind of cold out. Um, and uh, what I want to try to do is, is get them to catch up in size to the other two that I have, the other two hatchlings that I have um, that I got earlier this year th that are a couple months older um, that have quite a bit of size over these guys. So. Hopefully they'll all even out at the end of the winter. Hopefully they'll be about the same size. 
but uh, these guys I feed them twice a day and um, they beg and beg and they would probably eat three times a day but um, a lot of people say don't power feed your turtles uh, because it will mess with their shells and you know it, slow and steady is, is how you want to go when you're trying to grow turtles uh, to, to keep their shells looking nice so uh, I feed these guys twice a day the other aquarium that I have here the 125 um, these turtles are a year and a half old and uh, I feed them once a day uh, this is going to be their second feeding of the day so I don't know how hungry they're going to be but this water is a little bit colder and you'll notice I have fish in here too I don't bother to feed the fish uh, fish food I just let them eat the the scraps uh, that the turtles leave behind and as you can see they're very messy eaters so um, that's uh, that's not a problem the fish have plenty to eat I haven't I haven't noticed them you know looking thin at all so um, that seems to work out fairly well I, I could feed them but it would just you know be adding more waste to the the aquarium uh, these three tend to be a little bit more social in the morning and the afternoon um, and the other two tend to sleep a lot I'm not quite sure why but uh, uh, when they're hungry they do come out and sometimes it's you know every other day that they're interested in eating um, but the general rule is after four inches of shell length uh, feed them every other day um, and uh, so, you know sometimes I stick to that sometimes I don't because I do have smaller turtles and larger turtles in here it's kinda hard to you know re restrict the smaller turtles um, so the larger ones just kinda get a little bit more food than they normally would um, but the other foods that I have here uh, shrimp so turtles turtles like shrimp um, so you know just whatever shrimp you have kicking around in your house in your in your freezer they'll eat it um, I also have bloodworms and um, frozen bloodworms and my turtles go absolutely nuts for bloodworms and I typically only feed it as a treat because they will get violent with each other um, when I when I feed the bloodworms uh, these guys will will bite at each other um, if one has bloodworms and and the other wants it they will bite each other even if I give them their own gumdrop each one their own gumdrop um, they will fight viciously over it so um, I, I tend to avoid that I tend to try to feed them one at a time when I feed them bloodworms um, but that's also a great starter food for for hatchlings if uh, if they're not eating properly and also uh, angelfish love it basically any fish loves it and turtles um, I've also got frozen brine shrimp um, another good food to feed these ones are the adult brine shrimp so um, they aren't as um, they aren't as good for fry um, they've got higher protein and, and less fat so um, they're they're better to feed to adult fish or or turtles the turtles like them too uh, they sniff them out and and eat them all and uh, then the last thing I have here are just shrimp pellets these are good for quarries uh, uh, any type of bottom feeder they just they're sinking pellets uh, they're good for uh, crabs and they're also good for um, the uh, um, crayfish that I have here so I'll just real quick try to feed some uh, a couple of these uh, pellets to the the crayfish, but uh, the crayfish probably won't um, probably won't really react to them because they, they tend to they tend to be a little bit slower when it comes to eating. Um, but there's still four of them in there. They're leaving each other alone. They're Kind of climbing up on the roots here and, and they're just kind of digging around and and uh, they are you know primarily nocturnal i believe so um i do feed them uh, a, a balance between the shrimp pellets and the spirulina um wafers and they seem to like that uh they are primarily um plant eaters though at least these ones are um so that's kind of all i have uh, that's all my tanks 
I fed them all, and uh, I've explained all the different foods that I I keep stocked. Um, again, like I said, if if you have uh, fish uh, and you haven't heard of Ken's Ken's uh, Ken's uh, Ken's fish, uh, definitely check it out. Um, it's Ken'sFish.com, and uh, you know I I typically make one order every year, and I just kind of stock up for the year and uh obviously i've got more turtles now than fish but uh it's definitely worth checking out so that's all i've got all right see you guys later